Hey there everyone, my name is Eduardo Arroyo, but you can call me Ed and today we're right here super close to the US-Mexico border if you can see that over there, that's Mexico here in downtown in Laredo, Texas <laughs> oh. Yes, you guys, you heard that right. Today we're back here in Laredo, Texas. If you don't get why I'm saying that, that's because two of my first videos for my channel were recorded here. The first one was La Pulga 359, a local shopping area here in the city. And the other one was El Metro, which is the transportation system here in Laredo, Texas. If you're interested in checking those out, I'll leave them in the description down below. Ever since then, I moved to California where I've been making a lot of videos of California and the surrounding states in that area. So if you're interested in following my journey, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more cool and interesting adventure videos. Anyways, you guys, the objective of this video is very simple, to learn a little bit about the history and significance of this area, to visit some of the locations that you can find here, and overall, just enjoy this beautiful day with you guys, and check out what there is to do and see here in downtown Laredo, Texas. So if you guys are interested, come with me. I'm back to let you guys know that if you guys are interested in learning more about the history of Laredo, Texas as well as the general region right here you should definitely come by the Republic of the Rio Grande Museum which is of course in downtown. The museum is right here across the street is this one right here unfortunately it is closed on Monday so we're not gonna be able to go inside but let me explain a little bit what you can find inside in this museum you will learn about the history of Laredo including its foundation dating back to 1755 you will also learn about the different nations that govern this area at some point in history and you will also learn about the different important battles that were fought in this area not only that but you will also get to see artifacts from that period of time and catch a glimpse of how people People live back in those days. One of the coolest facts that I learned when researching about this place is that Laredo has something that makes it different to other cities in the state of Texas. If you guys didn't know, Texas has been governed by six different nations throughout its history. If I can remember correctly, those have been Spain, France, Mexico, the Republic of Texas, the Confederate States, and of course, the United States of America. So what makes Laredo so unique, you ask? Well, instead of six flags being flown over this city, there's actually been seven, so one more flag. The seventh flag represents the Republic of the Rio Grande, of which Laredo was its capital. What? Honestly, you guys, I didn't even know that before I wanted to make this video, so I think that's a pretty cool fact. Check it out, you guys. If you come close enough, you can see that the sign right here of the museum says that this was actually the capital building of the Republic of the Rio Grande. That is kind of crazy, you guys. Since we're already in the topic of like historical slash significant buildings here in downtown, I'm gonna go ahead and show you a few other ones. So that's the museum right there, you guys. The next building I wanna show you is actually right next to it. It's a hotel and it's called La Posada. La Posada Hotel is actually one of the oldest buildings here in downtown Laredo. It dates back to the 1700s. This building used to be a Spanish hacienda, which is basically a large estate or a plantation. Okay, you guys, the next place I want to show you is actually right in front of La Posada and the museum right here. This over here, where I started the video, is San Agustin Plaza. So let's make our way back here again. And boom, this right here is San Agustin Plaza. You guys might be wondering what makes this place so significant. Well, if you make your way over to this little monument over here, 
you learn that this is the place where Laredo was founded. The original name of this town was Villa de San Agustin de Laredo and it was founded, it says right there, May 15, 1755. This plaza right here is used for a lot of different things. A lot of events happen here and I want to show you another fact. It's written in that little plaque right there. As you can see here in this plaque says that annual elections have been held for city officials right here since 1767. This plaque also has information about historical and political drama that happened in the city of Laredo. Anyways, we're gonna leave that alone and move to our next location. We're here right in front of San Agustin Cathedral right behind me. This building, if I'm not mistaken, is actually the oldest building in Laredo. If not, then it is one of the oldest here in this city. So like I mentioned before, and like it says right over there, Laredo was founded in 1755. This building was actually constructed in 1778. Its founders were of course Spanish Catholics that wanted a place of worship. This church still has an active congregation till this day, which includes Sunday Masses. Alright you guys, let's move on to the next location. Another significant uh, place here in downtown Laredo is of course the county courthouse, you can't forget about that, and right next to it, this building right here is City Hall. And actually you guys, right in front of City Hall, which is this one, there's a gazebo that has some really cool information. Let me show you. Here on the sides, you can see some of the historical sites in Webb County. Check it out you guys. Plaza San Agustin, that is where we were at the beginning. City Hall, that is behind us. And Fort McIntosh, that is actually also here in Laredo, Texas. And on this side, you can see Bruni Plaza, which is very close from here. And the Republic of the Rio Grande, which is the museum we were at the beginning as well. Wow, you guys, I knew that there were a lot of places here in downtown. I didn't think I was gonna talk about a lot of them uh, just because I thought they would be like separated like a long distance from each other but they're actually like all in this like really close space. The next building that I want to talk about you guys is a really cool one. It's called Mile One. This place is Startup Central here in Laredo. Basically, it's an incubator where you can have workspace available and if you pay for like a membership or something, they have mentors on site to help you bring your idea into a reality. Anything that helps you create something or help your community in any way, shape or form, definitely support things like this. So come check it out whenever you have a chance. Another location that I wanted to show you right now, excuse the noise, it's super loud in here because of the buses and just the people coming and going. But this is the metro station here in Laredo, Texas. I told you guys at the beginning that one of the first videos in my channel was about the metro and this is where I did it. Definitely check that out if you're interested. So we're back here you guys where we started the video and I just want to tell you that this has to be one of the most significant places in downtown. I'm just gonna go ahead and share with you guys a few facts so that you can have a better understanding and appreciation for this place. For starters, if you guys didn't know, Laredo is known as as the gateway city. In 2018 alone, 5 million cars, 2.3 million trucks, and 3.7 million pedestrians cross this bridge. Thousands of people cross this bridge to both sides every single day, either for work or for school. Laredo, Texas and Nuevo Laredo, Tamaulipas on the Mexican side also work together on multiple initiatives that benefit both cities. The more you know, Anyways you guys, that is it for the history and significance of this area. Now we're gonna see what else we can see and do here in downtown. To get some lunch and here you're gonna find a lot of options for lunch or breakfast uh, there's your typical like big chains you know like churches or like Burger King but we're right next to the border so we're gonna get something Mexican so we found this place right here it's called Juanos we're gonna go in and check it out you guys all right so guys we found this place called Juanos it's a Mexican place like I said um, I got a tostada Siberia which is like a chicken tostada with like cream and avocado or something like that. I'll show you guys as soon as it gets here. So this is my tostada Siberia. 
like I said at the beginning, is basically chicken with sour cream and avocado. My jalapeno on deck. Let's try this thing. Mm, really good. Really good. That was really good guys. Next up, I think we're gonna check uh, the different shopping places that you can find here. Um, I think you have like two options, just in general terms, right? Like if you wanna find more cheap stuff, you're gonna go and explore like the different shops that are spread out throughout downtown. And if you want like a little bit better stuff, but still at a good price, you're gonna check the outlets. The first type of store that we're gonna check out are gonna be the smaller shops that are spread out through here. And uh, for those, you also have different options. A lot of these shops are very specialized. So you can find like a single thing such as wigs, or shoes and whatnot and there's other ones that have just everything i think we're gonna check out one of those first okay you guys i'm gonna take you to one of these like general shops where you can find anything and everything the only trick is that they don't allow for people to record a lot of the times so i'm just gonna sneak there with my gopro and try to get some shots for you but basically you get the idea they have a lot of different stuff there from makeup i saw apparel i saw like jewelry fake jewelry of course and many other things um if you don't have a lot of money that's definitely a place you can check out to get more gifts for your family more bank for your buck but if you have some more money to spend and you actually like those brand names I recommend you guys to go check out the outlet shops here in downtown Laredo. They have really good deals because they're basically clearance stores for a lot of really good brands. We made it here to the outlet shops in downtown and I just wanted to tell you guys that again you can find your favorite brand names here like Adidas, Nike, Under Armour and they give you a good percentage discount and they keep adding stores here like the last time I was here Adidas was not there so they keep adding different stores and it's definitely a good place to come check out with the family as you can see there's a lot of people again very good deal so now you know guys if you're ever in Laredo and you're looking for your favorite name brands and you don't want to spend too much money definitely come check out the outlet shops all right you guys we're in the back side really close to the parking lot as you can see let me show you real quick there's two big parking lots over here and at the very end there's actually a park so that's something else that you can do here in downtown laredo it is actually right next to the rio grande river okay you guys here we are we just made it here to los tres laredos park those over there you guys are the outlet shops over there i think you can see that little spike over there that's the church we visited at the beginning and just all of this is downtown laredo or the end of it if you want to think of it that way and on this side dun, 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 check it out you guys so that over there that is nuevo laredo tamaulipas in mexico and i think i see people over there let me see if i can zoom in real quick there's people over there i'm guessing that's also a park so they're just doing the same thing we're doing today just chilling on a sunday afternoon i think we just got to the end of the video i'm gonna have to call it a day you guys but uh thank you guys for joining us today and like i say at the ending of all my videos guys you guys make this so much fun hopefully you guys think the same and if you do make sure you click on the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this one anyways you guys i'll just say goodbye right here in front of the rio grande river always remember to be kind have an open mind i'll see you next time